Okay. Now students, we begin with chapter 2. Why chapter 2? Because chapter 1 is not in the syllabus. Chapter 2 has become chapter 1 and from there we are going to study. But I request you to read also chapter 1 so that you would understand the basic from where we are starting to build up the uh, story of democracy. The chapter's name is What is Democracy and Why Democracy? Most of you know what is democracy because in class 8 also we have learned about our rights, democratic rights. Democracy has been made by two of the words, demos and kratia, means it is the rule of the people. That is democracy. So almost everything you could understand from the word. Democracy is a government, is a form of government where everybody is participating. It cares for a lot of people. We can ask ourselves that uh, are you a democratic person? That means are you also a good listener or all, you are autocratic? That means only one person's rule. Or a person who does not try to listen about others. So democracy is basically a way of ruling where everybody is involved. It could be direct democracy in a small country like Switzerland. It is a direct democracy because the population is less. Everybody can sit together and talk about it. Let me give you an example. Suppose the class is going for a trip, then uh, uh, what happens? It happens that I would ask the monitor that uh, ask from your class where they want to go or the second method is I would ask in the classroom where do you want to go? Somebody says Amico Park, somebody says Rajgir and so on. So whatever will be the answer of that discussion will be made a rule. This is a direct form of democracy where everybody participates. Then the next one is representative democracy. Like India, the population is lot. We cannot ask each and every person. There is no time. There is less knowledge to some people who are unable to decide. So we elect our representation who will give our voice in the parliament and this is representative democracy. I would ask the monitor, monitor will ask to the class. Now the monitor of the class is the representative who actually holds the view of all the people. So this is representative democracy. I hope you have understood. Basically the uh, democracy is a form of government, uh, democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people. So, you can understand that it is the election which is different from all time. In the ancient period, there were kings and queens. That form is known as monarchy. Okay, monarchies do not ask anybody. They decide. They are very happy. Give 100 coins, gold coins. They are very unhappy. Kill the person. So that way monarchy. Uh, do not allow the people to participate. But again in democracy, the difference is very clear. People is more important than the ruler. Because the ruler is elected, made ruler by these general people. So this is basically democracy. Where people elect the ruler. That is the de democracy. Now again, we can say that wherever we are having election, ma'am, all of them are democracy. No. Now we would go to check the elections. All the elections are not free and fair. There are examples given in the book. If you would read about Pakistan, Parvez Musharraf or Myanmar or China. Myanmar is, a, uh, is ruled by military. 
and China and Pakistan, they say they are democratic. Yet, the election is not free and fair. Sometimes the military is pressurizing the common people whom to elect. In China, there is only one party, Communist Party of China. And many other smaller parties are affiliated to it. Like our school is affiliated to CBSC. Similarly, all the smaller parties are affiliated to Communist Party of China. Then what happens? Whichever party you vote, actually the vote goes to Communist Party of China. So every time, who is the ruler? The same party. So it is not a proper democracy. Okay, so here in this chapter, we would read that the democracy has some basic feature. So first one was... Ruler shall be elected by the people. But how? Which type of election? The election should be free and fair. Now who would decide that? Then we would here put a mechanism of election commission. In class 8 also you have read about election commission. That it is an independent thing which is very powerful and helps in proper election of India. The third point is that this election must be given to each and everyone on an equal basis and after a fixed period of time. In Mexico, the elections are held after six years. In our country, elections are held after every five years. So, the third feature is that the election should be held after a fixed interval of time and it should be given uh, to each and every person. Means everybody has an opportunity that to select the representative. And here in our country you have uh, read about universal adult franchise or universal adult suffrage. That is whoever is 18 year old is an adult and is ready to vote. All those persons, regardless of their caste and creed and religion and the place of birth, all of them, all of them have the opportunity to give vote. And if they give vote, they can elect who will be the next ruler. They allow the person to decide for them. They allow the person to assemble where? In the parliament. And take major decisions, important decisions for the country. And who give this right to them? We the general people. So indirectly, we the general people are ruling the country and helping our representatives to take major decisions. That is the way our country work or that is the way a proper democracy work. Again, we come to the last and final point or feature of the democracy. That... We must know that there shall be a constitution and all the person who are elected should abide by that constitution. They should follow that constitution. They cannot go against the constitution. They can make the rule. We have learned about amendment of constitution in class 8. We must have learned there are three methods by simple majority, special majority, special majority and ratification. So you have learned about that. So our representative, those member of parliaments who sit there and discuss day-to-day -day working of India, they can change the rules if need arises. They can sometimes change a minor clause. Sometimes they can abolish the whole law if it is very old and now there is no need of it. But they cannot change whole constitution. They It has to be followed. We have learned that in... Uh, features of uh, constitution that uh, it is the lengthiest and it is a, the preamble cannot is, uh, be changed it is just to be able we have learned about that so I think basically again I shall repeat you I hope you have understood four basic features and the uh, definition of the democracy democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people. This is the basic form. Then, this is not enough. Along with it, you have to give all the four features. First one is, rulers elected by the people take all the major decisions. So, if something happened at the time of COVID-19, 
the person who is elected by us, Mr. Narendra Modi, our Prime Minister, he is taking major decision. But again, that decision he cannot take it alone. It is with the consultation of other representatives or the opposition parties, because these opposition parties also represent somebody. So the first one is rulers elected by the people take all the major decision regarding that country. The second one is elections offer a choice. There shall be a choice, as in China. We I told you that the there is a democracy, but the elections uh, are held up, uh, and every time only one single party one wins. Now this is not proper. There shall be a choice. Whom to choose? Whom to choose? You can choose a person who is different from A to B. You there are C D E F. and you have a choice of word then only the election is fair enough good enough so that's why there shall be a choice and fair opportunity to the people to change the current ruler at the moment if i feel that my chief minister or my prime minister or any of the representative is not good enough then the next election i'm not going to vote for them so i can change the ruler but If if there is monarchy, we cannot change the king. We are unable to do so. Understood? So that's why in democracy, the second feature is that we can change the current ruler. The third point: there, this choice and opportunity is offered to all the people on equal basis. So this is universal adult suffrage or universal adult voting right. Whosoever is adult can have an equal opportunity. in that election and the fourth an important point is the exercise of this choice leads to a government limited by basic rules of constitution and citizens right they cannot take away the citizens right they are abided by the constitution they are forced to follow they have to follow if they are working if they are unable to follow suppose then you have read in class 8 that they have to resign no confidence motion is there it is collective responsibility the term you have read collective responsibility of the government to cover it all the ministers work together they swim together or they sink together so this is the basic principle of democracy i hope you students you have understood my point